Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss approximation of real roots of polynomials. Here we will use the intermediate value theorem to approximate real zeros of polynomial functions. Now intermediate value theorem states that if f of x is a polynomial function and f of a and f of b have different signs, then there is at least one value c between a and b such that f of c is equal to 0. Or you can say when you have a polynomial function and one input value causes the function to be positive, and the other negative, then there has to be at least one value in between them that causes the polynomial function to be zero. The fact behind this is zero separates positives from negatives. So, when the function moves from positive to negative or vice versa, then it must hit a point in between that goes through zero. Now let us discuss an example. Show that the function f of x is equal to x raised to the power 4 minus 4x cube plus 12 has a real zero between 1 and 2. Use the intermediate value theorem to find an approximation for this zero to the nearest tenth. Now, let us start with its solution. When finding functional values, you can either use synthetic division or directly plug the number into the function. Since we want to know the functional value in this problem, so we directly plug x value into the function so let us find the value of the function at x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 2. So f of 1 will be equal to 1 raised to the power 4 minus 4 into 1 cube plus 12. That is we have put the value of x as 1 in this function. Now this is equal to 1 minus 4 into 1 plus 12. That is 1 minus 4 into 1 is 4 plus 12. This is equal to 9. Also f of 2 will be equal to 2 raised to the power 4 minus 4 into 2 cube plus 12. And this is equal to 16 minus 4 into 8 plus 12. This is further equal to 16 minus 32 plus 12. And this is equal to minus 4. Now we have got the value of f of 1 as 9. And f of 2 is equal to minus 4. And we can see that there is a sign change between f of 1 is equal to 9 and f of 2 is equal to minus 4. Then according to intermediate value theorem, there is at least one value between 1 and 2 that is a 0 of the polynomial function. Now, checking functional values at intervals of 1 tenth for a sign change and we see that f of 1.1 is equal to 8.1401, f of 1.2 is equal to 7.1616. Now, f of 1.3 is equal to 6.0681. Similarly, 
f of 1.4 is equal to 4.8656. f of 1.5 is equal to 3.5625. f of 1.6 is equal to 2.1696. f of 1.7 is equal to 0 0.7001. And f of 1.8 is equal to minus 0 0.8304. Now here we see that again we have a sign change. So it will be x is equal to 1.7 or x is equal to 1.8. Now we want to find the zero to the nearest tenth and we cannot necessarily go by which functional value is closer to zero. Further, let us subdivide this interval that is from 1.7 to 1.8 and calculate functional values at intervals of one hundredths for a sign change. So now we find out f of 1.71 and it is equal to 0.5503. f of 1.72 is equal to 0.3983. Now f of 1.74 is equal to 0.0943. Similarly, f of 1.75 is equal to minus of 0 0.0586. Here again, we have a sign change between successive hundreds. This means there is a zero between 1.74 and 1.75. So, the required zero to nearest tenth would be 1.7. So we have used the intermediate value theorem to find an approximation for this zero to the nearest tenth. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.